Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde has broken his silence on the EVM controversy playing out in his state. After one of his MP's brother-in-law has been booked in this controversy for allegedly taking the, uh, using a phone inside the counting center, Eknath Shinde has called all of this a conspiracy, claiming the opposition is spreading misinformation. Shinde has claimed that the opposition is making false allegations and that the police will provide a detailed explanation about what's happening. फक्त रवींद्र वायकर यांच्या ईव्हीएमवर संशय घेता म्हणजे याचा अर्थ तुम्ही त्या ठिकाणी खोट लोकांमध्ये पसरवण्याचं काम करताय हे खोट बोला पण रेटून बोला हे जास्त काळ चालणार नाही रवींद्र वायकर यांना तिथल्या जनतेने निवडून दिलेला आहे आणि त्यांचा विजय जो आहे उभाटाचा फोर्टी टू पर्सेंट स्ट्राईक रेट आहे आमचा शिवसेनेचा फॉर्टी एट पर्सेंट आहे so first comment coming in from the Maharashtra Chief Minister. Remember that the Shiv Sena, the Shinde Sena essentially has been maintaining that this is baseless allegations and a conspiracy manufactured by the opposition. But remember that the Mumbai police right now has filed an FIR. The allegation is against, in fact, Vaikar, who is the Mumbai Northwest MP, who won by just 48 votes. The allegation is that the MP's brother-in-law was using a phone inside the counting center, which is not allowed. And the phone belonged to an EC official who has also been named in the FIR. But Chief Minister Shinde maintains that this is a manufactured controversy by the opposition. The Mumbai police has issued a statement on the Maharashtra EVM controversy amid several claims that the phone was used to unlock an EVM in Mumbai. The cops have maintained very clearly right now, setting the record straight, that the investigation is into the fact that an unauthorized mobile phone was taken into the counting center. And the Mumbai police highlighting that that is the illegality that is being investigated. The cops have then said in this statement that there are some claims doing the round, some reports suggesting that the phone was used to unlock an EVM. That is completely false and misleading. So this is the statement that's come in now from the Mumbai police. So here's what the Mumbai police has said, in fact, on social media. And I quote here, a case has been registered at Vanrai police station for allowing an individual to use a mobile phone illegally, despite the prohibition on the use of mobile phones and electronic items at the counting station. The case is still under investigation. However, there have been some news media publishing news stating to unlock EVM, a mobile phone was used to generate OTP. No such information is released to any newspaper by Mumbai police. Therefore, such news articles are false and misleading.